my partner and I decided to try some new sandals after talking with some friends who raved about them. And these folks have walked more miles than I feel like I have in a lifetime in these sandals and just spoke very highly of them. And as someone that does all of my summer hiking in sandals, I thought it was something that I wanted to try. So these are bedrock cairns and they have a very grippy sole. They are adjustable and really minimal. And so my initial impressions were that my feet felt so vulnerable and exposed. I use Tiva sandals presently for all of my hiking and water related activities. And there's definitely a lot more straps to hide my feet. But as I walked with these bedrock sandals, I, I felt like having less straps will actually be really nice in the hot summers because they are simply more breathable and there's a lot more airflow. My feet definitely tend to sweat a lot in the Tiva sandals. Another concern I have is just the adjustment period for getting accustomed to having something between my toes again. I don't think I've worn sandals with a thong since maybe high school, and I definitely am very aware of that sensation between my toes. There's an, a lot of extra material on the front of the Tiva sandals, and I catch rocks often and trip over them. So I'll be curious to see if that happens with these I'm on day three now with these bedrock sandals and this is the first hike that I've done. I've been doing a lot of walking around the city of Tucson, but not yet a more traditional hike. And I'm really excited to report that they are so comfortable to hike in. And I did not trip on a single rock, which was so wonderful. The, the tread is super grippy. And when water crossing, my feet didn't slide around at all. I was really impressed because even Tevas, you know, which are often considered water shoes, my feet do slip around just a little bit after I get out of the water. And I didn't experience that at all. They felt so firmly in place, uh, even when walking through the water. So I'm really impressed. And while the space between my toes does feel a little bit uh, sore or bruised rather. I do think that that's just something that is going to take some time and it, I'll, I'll get over it. But I don't have any blisters, I don't have any rub spots. I actually have one, two, three, four, five <laughs> rub spots on one foot from my Tiva sandals. Just the, the buckles rubbing in weird places and sand getting in between and just kind of rubbing me raw so i'm excited that these haven't done that at all oh and another bonus is they're really easy to put on and off you just need to loosen one strap and that's it i've been really impressed with how firmly in place my feet are especially considering that this is such a minimal shoe. There's hardly any straps and my feet just feel really solidly in place. Uh, they definitely slipped around more in my Tevas and I could never cinch them down enough to keep my foot in place. I have struggled a little bit more walking in deep sand with these sandals. Uh, the bigger rocks just get under my foot, in between my foot and the, the sole a lot easier and then hurt. <laughs> These shoes can be resold as well, which always makes me really, 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 really happy. Uh, although I have to say, it does seem funny to have to save the most minimal part of the shoe, the straps, just to put on a whole new sole. But 
I just found out today that if you do resole them, you have an option to have the company stitch on a little patch on, on the straps that say resold, and I think that's just really cute. I am a sucker for things like that. It's so funny, I'm a, a collector at heart that longs to be a minimalist, and that really comes out in my shoes. I have a lot of shoes, but I'm always searching for that one pair that can do everything. And maybe the best approach would be to find that one pair that can do everything in that season. These may potentially be the perfect summer shoe that I can do everything in. And happy to report they feel really comfortable to bicycle in. I feel like I have tried or walked, traversed, moved in them in a wide variety of ways at this point. My feet, we're on day five now, my feet feel a little bit more comfortable with the thong between the toes. Yesterday was definitely probably the most I felt it, but I also walked over seven miles, so I think that played a part of it. But I do feel like my feet are adjusting for sure. And we're on day six now, went on a little walk with the dogs in the morning and then helped some friends pour concrete on a patio. And I did everything in my sandals. <laughs> they worked out really well. This is definitely the first day that my foot has felt completely comfortable with the shoe. I don't notice the thong anymore. It just kind of feels like a second skin. And then when we were done with the concrete and they had gotten a little dirty, I just hosed them off and we were all good again. So now I feel like I have done so much in these sandals. I have worked, I've hiked, I've bicycled, I've relaxed. I have gone out on the town and worn them for six days straight, walking about 30 miles in all. And I have to say, I really like them. So <laughs> two thumbs up for these bedrock sandals. Really excited to have them and go on more adventures. Thank you all for watching. Okay, I have an update. I have had these shoes for several weeks now. And during that period of time, Dot, my little one-year-old puppy, decided to chew on them and actually ruined one of the straps. Luckily, Bedrock has this whole lineup of services and I was able to send them back. They replaced the strap for $8 and then sent them back to me. I wish I had a video of the package that they sent them back in because it was really adorable, but I was just so excited to get them back again because it took about two weeks that I didn't, I just, I just wanted my shoes back because I really like these shoes. Uh, so that's great. I'm super glad that they were able to be repaired. She has chewed on one other pair of shoes of mine uh, that, alas, will not be able to be repaired. So it's cool to like find a shoe company that has a whole lineup of, of options. I did request for the strap to be a different color because I thought it would be fun to have just like this one little strap that was different from all the other straps. Uh, but they must not have seen that request. They do offer that service though, where you can pick out different colors. So unfortunately that didn't pan out, but I'm, I was just so excited to have them back again that it didn't really matter. I will say that having worn these for a really long time now, well, it feels like a long time now, I have noticed that the material, the shoe bed, the footbed feels a little more drying. I mentioned that in the beginning that, you know, my Tiva sandals, my feet sweat a lot in them. Well, these ones seem to be like, like they suck away moisture. And so I am finding myself having to lotion my feet a whole lot more. I'm, I think it's the material rather than just that my feet are so like exposed to all the dirt and the dryness that is the desert, but I think it's actually the material because I've worn sandals. I mean, I've lived in the desert for a long time and I've, you know, you just wear sandals. It's too hot. Uh, 
and this is the first time I've ever experienced my feet like getting so cracked and dried. So just something to consider. But overall, I'm really happy with them. I'm wearing them right now. I like them a lot. They're great. So that's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching.